Well, hello there. Come on in. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I was just going over your chimney inspection report, but now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. Let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B see comments below. C repairs needed. D need further evaluation or E not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey Ben, we went out uh, today and inspected the chimney for you on Cortland. Let's, uh, let's take a moment and go over the inspection report. Uh, here's what the chimney looks like up on top. These, uh, the crown, the concrete work up here looks pretty good. Uh, there's no chimney cap on here. There never has been. And that's one of the reasons why the damper, let's see if we can see it inside. It's got a lot of rust. As a matter of fact, it is uh, actually warped here. But you know what, even with all the rain and, and it uh, warped and all that, rusty and all, it's working just fine. So it's income property. I wouldn't uh, bother switching it out, to be honest with you. But it would be a good idea sometime to put a chimney cap up here, and I've given you a price on doing it. Uh, here's what the fireplace looks like. They built the opening up a little bit. The reason they did that is to kind of picture frame it a little bit. I'll explain to you what that means. The, the mouth of the fireplace is a standard size, but the size of the flue is an 8 by 13. It's actually uh, too small for this size fireplace. And what they were ended up with was a ton of smoke. And there was probably, before this paint went down, there was probably a ton of smoke stains in here. Because you can't get the stains out of the brickwork. So they picture framed it. Well, we'll have to hope for the best. Hope that it's working okay for your tenants to burn wood. If not, we better talk about some, uh, maybe some gas logs in there. Uh, firebox got some chip bricks in the back wall. I wouldn't do anything about it at this point. Uh, it's not really causing you a problem. Let's go back to the flue system. So it's undersized and it's uh, misaligned. Your chimney is built with uh, eight by 13 flue sections that are two foot in length. And when the Mason stacked them, he staggered them back and forth. And that creates a lot of drag and, and a poor draft. And it also creates these openings between the floor, flue sections. Now, I've given you a price on fixing the flue, plugging all those areas up so we don't have a leaky chimney here. Uh, let's see, and that's kind of what this illustration is all about. We can fix it with a slip form and fill those areas up. The problem is it's not going to help the draft. It would uh, help keep the carbon monoxide and smoke out of the walls of the house, but the draft uh, is going to be uh, dicey at best. So I don't know what to tell you about it. Uh, maybe vent uh, uh, gas logs would be a better choice. Uh, certainly want to think about putting that cap on uh, at the top to keep the birds and stuff out. So you give me a call with questions, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thank you.